So we are talking about the movie Blood Countess. Now the original title of this name is difficult to pronounce, so I apologise, I'm going to try in just a second, but there's going to be a whole lot of mispronunciations on this review. So the original title of this one is The Lady of Kajest. Mispronounced that, but uh, this one is directed by Andre Konst and stars Svetlana uh, Kochenkova. Now she was actually in the Wolverine movie, so you may have seen her before. She played Viper in the second Wolverine film, and here she plays Countess Elizabeth Bathory, who is a well-known historical figure, um, basically renowned as the world's worst ever serial killer in history, or female serial killer. And uh, this basic, this story here it takes place in the kind of the tail end of her reign of terror, basically the last few weeks, basically. And the actual story is through the point of view of these two young children that come into her care, uh, and basically it's through their kind of point of view and how their dealings with the with Bathory, basically, and her kind of servants and such. And uh, the the efforts to take her down by the kind of the court, basically, and what kind of happens. So, um, in some aspects, I was reading a little bit about the historical kind of actual real person, you know, who is sometimes referred to as Countess Dracula, but she's not actually nothing to do with uh, the real Dracula. But, um, and it seems to have uh, be somewhat kind of factual uh, to a certain degree. Um, they've got some of the facts right, according to what I can read. But the kind of the, the thing with this film is. The, I'm going to go through the positives and negatives. I don't want to talk too much about the plot. The, the negatives of this film is that I feel it is a mistake to have the, the focus on these two young kids because that's not what you're watching it for. Uh, Bathory's character seems more like a supporting character in her own role. It would have been a much more interesting film had the, the focus actually been on her. And what makes it twice as bad as that is the acting of these two young kids is very, very bad. It's particularly the young boy. The, 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 the older girl is slightly better, but they're both not not particularly good. And these are your central characters. Now, it's a little, I feel a little unfair criticising very young sort of child actors, but, you know, it, it is what it is, unfortunately. Uh, they're not strong actors, and they're the focus of the film, and you simply, you're not really that interested, to be honest with you. I feel it kind of has this melodramatic... Uh, feel to it which I feel was taking you away from what you actually want to watch in this kind of movie which is basically you know an historical film about this person basically and I also feel it would have been better to maybe have a little bit more uh, of her life rather than this kind of just last few weeks that it seems to have there was actually a, hist a historical Count Dracula film called uh, Dark Prince which I reviewed some time ago and I actually kind of quite like that because um you felt like you got a good portion of this guy's life. Well, this one, it's really just the kind of the tail end of it, which maybe is the most interesting part, but I don't know because I haven't seen that. So, um, here, here it is. The other thing with this film, if you are expecting lots of um, killing on screen, you ain't going to get it. Now, I was, like I said, I was reading a little bit about the historical uh, Countess Bathory, and I think the the perception is that she was bathing in blood of, of all these kind of young girls and stuff like that and apparently there's no actual evidence that that actually happened and they don't show it on screen here um, the, it's hinted that there is a kind of a bathtub but we never actually see her bathing in the blood but like I said that's kind of it's basically said that that was all kind of said after the fact uh, and there was no actual evidence that that was going on to begin with so she was just literally a serial killer but all this kind of like bathing in the blood of virgins was more or less added as kind of folklore after the fact and it's kind of that's what kind of popularizes the uh the mythology of um of Bathory's character so i feel that this film does a, a good enough job of maybe straddling that line um between kind of fact and fiction but on, on, on going against that, they decide to give this girl psychic powers. It was, it, it was a, a stupid move. And I have to say, the, the final climax of this film, when they kind of storm the castle, and uh, there's the, this kind of other character that gets involved, is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous and totally destroys any kind of semblance of realism that this film is going for. And there are some bits that is, you know, by all accounts, seem what they're fairly historically accurate accurate but they kind of they do some stupid things in regards to 
uh, over the top stuff. So it's a bit of a mixed bag to be honest with you. On the plus side of this film, I did feel that the, the main actress who plays uh, Bathory did a good job of making her uh, seductive but evil and kind of creepy at the kind of the same time. I know she got a lot of crap for her role in, as Viper in the Wolverine film, but in here I actually thought she was quite good. And we're funny enough, was strangely kind of like uh, reptile-like as well. Maybe that's her thing. So I quite like that. It also really benefits from being filmed in Romania because we do see a lot of that authentic kind of um, scenery and location shooting and everything like that. And it does give it this kind of like authentic feel to it. Um, it does kind of air on the cheaper side sometimes and outside of the kids there are some questionable performances as well. I, but like I said, um, I mean based on the film that we've got, I felt it had some redeeming moments but it was a weaker film as a whole. Purely be the fact that, that, that I feel the focus of this film was misplaced to begin with, um, because we don't, we don't really care about these kids to be honest with you. And when they kind of go into this kind of like OTT stuff that ends, ends up happening, you know, I think it's ridiculous to be quite honest. And it would have been nice to maybe have a more of a uh, an overview of the actual character and kind of maybe get behind, you know, trying to look at the uh, the, the mindset and stuff like that. But nonetheless, I do think it had some redeeming features and kind of. Uh, and I appreciate the fact that it didn't kind of uh, maybe go with some of the more popular kind of folklore things and things like that and try to make it more based on the facts but then do some strange decisions other than that. So it's kind of, like I said, a mixed bag, this film. Overall, I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.